Hi, this is just a video to demonstrate some of the tools from MathsWatch, uh, specifically the Year 9 Transformation Task 1 homework, that headset. Um, so this is a plans and elevation homework question. And you can see here there's a diagram of a prism and the question's asking you to draw the front elevation and the side elevation. Um, and then you're telling, told the scale. So the scale is two squares to one meter. And I'm just going to demonstrate how to use these tools that are down on the right hand side, uh, just for those who aren't sure how to do it. Okay, so you can see here that our front elevation is this bit here, where it's uh, got an arrow indicating. And I know the height is two meters. And for every one meter, I want two squares. So two meters is going to have a height of four squares. So I'm going to use this entire grid here. Now there are lots of functions. They've given us two sets. The reason there's two sets is to allow you to be able to use both a ruler and a pencil at the same time. But actually you just need a ruler in this case. So when I click on the ruler, you can see the function here. You can extend your ruler if you want it a little bit longer. And this outer arrow, this perpendicular arrow, allows you to rotate your arrow here and here. Okay. Now, this blue uh, arrow indicator here is for you to actually physically draw a line. So if I drag this blue indicator, you can see a red line being drawn. And it means you don't have to use a pencil and a ruler at the same time. Also, the pencil doesn't actually do anything. All the pencil does is allows you to draw across. So here's the pencil option. If I click on the blue part of the pencil, you can see a cross appears. I can drag it and move it by clicking on the gray. But every time I click on the blue, a cross will appear. Now, I don't need these crosses, so I'm just going to clear my drawing. And I'm going to do that by clicking on this blue uh, cross at the end of the tools, and it'll disappear. Now I'm just going to put this pencil to one side because we don't need it. In fact, I can just click at it and it goes away. Um, and the same thing will happen with the ruler. Click on it and it goes away. So I'm going to draw this height first. And I'm going to put my ruler and line it up to the side of the grid. Rotate it round to a vertical line. And all I'm going to do is drag this blue indicator line to draw my vertical side to my front elevation. Now you can already see my line is a little bit off. Uh, it should be okay. The software on MathWatch well, should be able to pick it up as a correct answer if it is correct. So at the bottom here, two meters. So again, four squares. And I'm just going to rotate my ruler around. Now you can see it's not really lined up very well. So I'm just going to line up again and just put it along and draw my line. Now, if um, for, uh, not unfortunately, if you have accidentally maybe put your ruler like this, and you're like, oh well, I can't reach the bottom here to turn it, just drag it up, click on the grey part, and then you can rotate it. So I'm just going to rotate it back to horizontal, and then I can line it back up to where I want it to be. So I'm going to draw this top part of my elevate front elevation. It says here in the diagram, it's one meter. And if that size one meter, because it's a prism, it's the same all the way through. This will also be one meter. So I want two squares along the top. Just going to line it up. If you accidentally make it too long, like I've done there, just click on this curly arrow and that will just undo that previous line. If you click on the blue cross, however, it will clear your entire drawing and you would have to start again. So if you just want to undo one part of it, that would go away and then it's let's say i made a mistake on the the next bit if i click the undo button again that would come up now i'm going to just put that line back in put the top on i'm just going to finish my front elevation using that blue indicator on the top put that down there and draw the last part of my diagram. Now I've gone a little bit far off the edge of that square. Hopefully I can get away with it. The, hopefully the software has a little bit of give. Um, it is difficult to draw, especially if it's on your phone or 
on a tablet rather than a computer like I've got in front of me. Um, so hopefully that little mistake won't be penalized. So I'm just going to submit my answer to see what happens. Yeah, it gave me those two marks. And then if I'd done this question here, I would get the other two marks. So hopefully this little video will help uh, just demonstrate how to use these tools a little bit better. A lot of people think that the pencil is what you use to draw because a lot of you would tend to draw this freehand in class, but really it's the ruler that's going to help you draw those straight lines. Okay, thanks now.